This video is to showcase our custom made tapestries. And what I'll be sharing with you here are just some samples, some cutouts of uh, some scraps from past projects. So this was um, a cutout or is a cutout of uh, one of the coat of arms that we made for a customer here. You can see the nice details, uh, the lining here. This one was um, lined with a natural colored fabric. We have two options, either black or natural. A nice, uh, beautiful backside here, which is rarely exposed, but if uh, someone wanted it unlined and wanted the backside showcased, uh, you can see what it looks like there. We're seeing a lot of yellow in this one because uh, a yellow fill yarn was utilized. Um, in weaving, of course, we have the warp and the weft. Uh, in this case, the weft uh, are on our looms always has black and white threads you see those there but a yellow fill yarn was used on this one which is why we see that being the third color there um, naturally um well where is it at here <laughs> okay there we see uh, yellow showing up on the hoof of this the horse so on the back side naturally that's where you're not seeing the yellow um, Hopefully that makes sense there. <laughs> Let's move on here. Another scrap from uh, a previously uh, woven coat of arms here. This one had the black lining. And in this case, a black or rather a red fill yarn was utilized, which is why we see uh, so much red on the back side and that being the fill yarn color there. This one, a green fill yarn was utilized, which is why we see so much of that. Again, up close, you can see that that's the fill yarn color. This one is a very abstract piece. Uh, this next one had a pink fill yarn. This one was very abstract <laughs> and uh, was never lined, uh, which is why we see qu quite a bit of exposed edges here. But um, here, let's see if I can, let's see. Let's go on this side here. We see uh, some fringes there, and again, that um, the fill yarn being pink in addition to the black and, and white yarns there on the weft. Another large coat of arms. <laughs> coat of arms are popular. <laughs> we see how, how nicely um, letters can come out um, in the weaving, especially when, when they're larger. This one here, we can see um, the warp threads quite nicely uh, there. There's six different warp thread colors utilized on our looms. Now here, this one, again, a very abstract piece. Um, we can see the rod pocket here, and a lot of customers wonder how, how thick it is. It's about uh, three to four inches. You can see I can just get about four fingers there. So uh, a rod, nearly any rod would be able to, to slide through there, especially if the finials were taken off. I can just try to showcase uh, the in, the inside, the, the back side, and actually the front side of what these tapestries look like. I'm realizing as I'm uh, saying this that abstract is very, very popular with uh, s some of our customers. Black lining here, this one is a very small tapestry, but you can see the entire rod pocket there. Our tapestries uh, naturally come with a uh, backside lining and and uh, a rod pocket unless requested otherwise, but that's typically how they're requested to be hung. And here, just a final one. Uh, this was actually the waist of, of one of the, the tapestries and, and that's how we <laughs> um, put that there. But again, you can see how the the letters come out and, and the quality of the fabric. So I hope that uh, helps you uh, to see the quality of our products.